This video is in partnership with BetterHelp. Hello and welcome back to The Average or welcome to The Average. I don't know, what's this intro? It's not making sense because it's like not welcome to The Average, but welcome to this video. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist and today we're checking out some inks from Stuart Semple and Culture Hustle. If you haven't heard of Culture Hustle, they do all these weird and wonderful art supplies and I'm lucky enough to be sent some stuff by them. I actually picked these out to be sent them for free, which is very nice of them but these are the inks so we've got wink and blink so this is apparently supposed to be a really really dark black ink and a really white ink i don't know or maybe a very opaque white um so i thought i'd just do some nib drawing today this is my nib what is this pen called you know what i mean this nib pen and I'm pretty sure I've done a lot of drawing with this, but I haven't done it in a while. And I used to ink a lot of comics with just an ink pen before, so I really like using them. This is going to be a very casual, chatty video, so do stick around. I thought I'd just practice drawing some people, because it's been a while since I've just drawn <laughs> random people on Pinterest, picking out some images that I like, just to practice. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and dip right into this ink which is not necessarily the right thing to do, but it's what I'm doing. Scratch it off here and uh, let's get going with drawing someone just freehand. I think it's really good to practice freehand drawing sometimes because with no sketch underneath, because it helps you to get better at looking and also just being confident with your line, you know? Sometimes we have to just go for it and hope that it's gonna work out sometimes it doesn't but it's okay guys because we're practicing this eye looks a little bit odd but that's fine that's all good so a little bit of ink goes a long way as you can see it's kind of i've dipped it once and uh i'm getting all these lines so i'm trying to get used to the different pressures of the the brush what i really brush the nib what i really enjoy about the nib is that you can get like different line quality um depending on how hard you press how like full of ink the is the level how full of ink the the nib is so i think it could be really interesting uh, to see these lines because they feel a bit more organic and a bit more free and uh, more interesting and also if we have different line thickness with throughout our drawing it makes it more visually interesting to look at which is something I need to remember because I always just kind of do like this flat flat uh, consistency of line but if we have like different indicators different lit line thickness then it can look much nicer obviously you could probably use this to like refill fountain pens and stuff but i'm not so knowledgeable on fountain pens just yet i'm obviously enjoying using fountain pens more and more if you guys have been watching my other videos i'm just kind of getting into it a lot more but i'm still not that super knowledgeable on it as many many of you guys are actually because everyone commented on the last couple of videos like you're doing it wrong and i was like teach me your ways do teach me this is the most awful drawing ever but we're practicing so it's fine this video is in a paid partnership with better help is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals if you have any issues like depression or anxiety or if you're just a person that lives in this difficult world and trying to navigate through it then therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a different way and that's why I'm excited to tell you about BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be hard. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easy because it's online, it's remote, and just by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a credentialized therapist in as little as a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com forward slash average artist. Clicking that link helps support this channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. And because finding a therapist is sometimes difficult and it doesn't always fit quite common to find that you might want to change your therapist so you can easily switch to a different therapist at no additional cost so if you're struggling consider online therapy with better help click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash average artist thank you again to better help for supporting this channel 
just trying to get a bit loose. I feel like I'm just really stiff at the moment because I just started drawing and it's I haven't warmed up or anything. I'm warming up with you guys. Maybe we can make this line pop out a bit more to draw your attention. Also, her eyebrows are like really, really big. So I really do want that in this image because I really like big, thick eyebrows. There you go, guys. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact about me. I love thick eyebrows. So I don't know if I can use watercolours with it on top. I'll have to check that out now. Yeah, this is really nice ink so far. It's really good quality if that's... I can be the judge of that. I think I'm really enjoying the way it's flowing and it's super black, like they said. I mean, there's not much to say about ink, I guess. There's not much to review. So this video is gonna be more talking about style and practice. I made a mistake there because that line just looks weird, but it's practice, guys. I need to keep telling myself that. <laughs> Let's use the white. I think for the white one, so I've got some black paper here, just some watercolour black paper. Okay, so so at the moment it's seeming really, I don't know if this is fair to say, but watery before trying it, but ooh, okay, not bad. It's not super opaque and it does work more like an ink would, as you would expect. But it's, it's pretty nice. At the moment I'm preferring the black, but this is really nice for, you know, if you want to draw on black paper or if you want to do highlights and stuff, this is probably quite a nice thing to have. Let's see how it goes over the black actually. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It kind of works, but maybe I could soften some of the lines with the white. Ignore the awful drawings, but... Yeah, it works fine. I think I'm not gonna really use it too much. I'm definitely focusing more on the black. So let's just keep doodling. Um, as far as the comic is going, guys, I've nearly, nearly finished it. I've just decided to add like a few more pages because I thought it would round out the story a little bit more. So at the moment, it was 32 pages roughly, and now it's roughly like 33. 35 but yeah so just working on that and it's been really fun I actually got I went on a work trip and then I got really ill after the work trip I got like a really bad flu and I was just in bed for like a week and a half and it really sucked because I felt like it's a really critical time for me and my work schedule um, my 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 work work and my personal work to be honest so Kinda sucked, kinda sucked to get ill. It sucks to get ill, but it also sucks to get ill when you're at a critical moment of making a comic that you wanna send out to everyone in time for Halloween. So yeah, that wasn't that fun, um, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but I'm feeling better now, and I'm ready to keep going and uh, keep, keep working, working, working. It's, it's getting there guys, it's super getting there and I'm so excited. I'm actually going to a Bristol Comic Expo next week. Um, if you're around, you can look that up. I'll link it down below actually. Bristol Comic Expo. So I'm gonna be there and uh, if, you, if you live in Bristol, maybe come check it out. Come meet me and uh, see my wares, I guess. If you're around, that would be really cool. And I'm excited because I haven't really done any UK Comic Cons before. The only Comic Con I've really done is the one in Gibraltar. Oops. And uh, yeah, so it's very different, I think. I'm excited. It's kind of my test run as well for Fort Bubble, which is a big, massive Comic Con in um, Leeds. It's kind of like an indie Comic Con. Uh, so there's lots of like indie vibes, lots of like, you know, when I say indie, I mean like small press, uh, single people, business, you know, or just people like me just, you know, working comics at home as a hobby. So it's really nice. It's going to be really cool to watch and be like inspired by um, other people as well, because it's just like a, a meeting of lots of really talented people in one room when you see all their art stuff and all their comics and their work and it can be so inspiring i always get so inspired when i go to a comic con like um when i say it first time going to a comic con i mean exhibiting um 
I've been to a few comic cons uh, just as a person who enjoys buying comics <laughs> and not just uh, selling them and making them so yeah I just can't wait to get that like inspiration kick I feel like it always happens when you see other people's working hard and like being inspired by their work is always so fun um, I just love it I just yeah I guess it's kind of like what YouTube does for me as well is I, I really like to watch other people's channels to get inspired and it helps me work and I, I don't know if I do that for people I know that I've been told that I do that for a couple of people but it's always so nice to hear because that's why I watch YouTube videos and stuff is like I really like to be inspired by people I always get really inspired when I see people working really hard as well what we see is not necessarily what's actually happening behind the scenes uh, we see like a very curated version of what's happening but it's still nice <laughs> because you watch it you're like I want to have that life I want to be like um, super productive like that and uh, we're not always productive days are days are different aren't they some days are more productive than others some weeks are more productive than others and uh, that's fine so just remember that guys that not everything you see is the truth of all these creative people we're all struggling in different ways and uh yeah sorry that was a bit deep but yeah liking this pen i feel like i've warmed up a bit more this drawing on this uh side feels a lot more loose um than the other ones so i feel like i'm getting into the groove i would love to do another comic just using nib and ink um because i feel like yeah like i said it does give like a quality that you can't really get otherwise mm, yeah liking these these inks now i feel like i've definitely warmed up and just loosened up i really want to check if they work with alcohol markers and watercolors as well when i say they i mean the inks obviously also another thing you could do is use a brush with inks um i've heard like that's what they do over at marvel comics and stuff and that just sounds crazy to me because the amount of like I don't know uh, control of the brush that you would need is insane but obviously people over at Marvel are probably very good at what they do uh, comics wise they get to work on comics all day every day so you know more power to them I really love using like watered down inks as well i used to put um you know those like travel brushes where they have the water inside and i know that's not everyone's favorite because you can't really like control the water but if you put like a little bit of ink in there you can get like a really nice uh inky what brush to just layer down like shadows and stuff on the go and uh, i do like that and uh, yeah, we can just do some shadows now with this brush on the face. Using the brush is quite addictive because you can get like a really nice flow of ink. Okay, well, yeah, the inks are very nice. That's the, the point of this video. This is what the inks are looking like. And I'm just going to see if it smudges uh, the ink. And I really hope it doesn't because I like this drawing. It does a bit, I think. I'm pretty sure it did smudge then. Yeah, it definitely doesn't work with alcohol markers, but that's okay because sometimes that happens. You could still use them and just like be careful um, where you place the alcohol markers. Uh, but yeah, we could use that to our advantage as well because you could always play with what you're doing with the alcohol markers and the ink. I mean, yeah, just having fun. Um, doesn't really make sense to use alcohol markers anyway with just ink. <laughs> it's kind of a difficult one to do and uh, found that I prefer to use pencils anyway with um, 
alcohol markers. So it's not a big deal, but it would be nice if it worked. I just need some like watercolor now. So I just grabbed my cute little watercolor set here and uh, let's see if it works. I hope so, it would be nice. I feel like I really need some new brushes because all my brushes are just like destroyed a bit. And that's on me, but I need to get some new ones. Okay, let's just try this like blue because we've already got some blue coming through from the other page here. Let's see if it works. Hmm. It seems to not be shifting, which is exciting because that means you can use watercolors with this ink without it smudging. It seems to be mixing well. Just like going over a layer, going over the inks with this color is kind of nice as well. Look at this brush. Look how awful this brush is. Definitely need some new ones. If anyone wants to sponsor me getting some uh, new brushes, feel feel free to message me. <laughs> I do it for the free art supplies, guys. Okay, let's just let it be known. And, uh, yeah, this looks really nice. I think. Let's just do. So there you go. It works with watercolors. It works quite nicely with these pastel ones because it's going and staying on top of the black which is an interesting, I don't know what I was going to say, an interesting look, an interesting result. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I was going to say, I'm like, mm, where are my words? Okay, so here is a blob of white, let's see. Ooh, it's kind of working really thickly with the, with the brush. And it's quite opaque with the brush, so maybe I just didn't have a thick enough layer of it before. I don't know what I'm doing now with this white, but it's just fun to experiment. With it going down over the watercolour, it's gone really like thick. I'm going to stop before I just make a massive mess all over this paper. And also, guess what I did? I mixed up the lids. If anyone caught that, well done, because I did not. But I'm so clever, I mixed up the lids to the black and white, so now the white is slightly off-white. Don't we just love that for me? Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> How dumb am I? That should be fine. Let's not talk about it. Um, let's just move on to the end of the video. Thank you again to <laughs> BetterHelp for being in partner with this video. And uh, I hope that it will help someone out there also. But thanks for watching guys and uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!